What's up guys, so today we got an awesome pad thai recipe for you guys. It's gonna cost you guys $1.89 per meal, pretty awesome price. We're gonna break it up into three simple steps so you guys can follow along. Let's get into this guys. So the ingredient list will be down in the description below so make sure you guys get everything before you start this recipe. Step 1 out of 3 is to prep the food. This is a crucial step when you meal prep and it's going to save you so much time at the end when you guys do this. So I just realized we spilled a bunch of this water but you're going to put around 4 cups of hot water into a big enough bowl that can fit all the noodles. So you're going to want to put around 21 ounces of rice noodles in here or just 1.5 packages of whatever box you can find. Just put your timer on for 15 minutes and just forget about the noodles. So what we're going to be prepping next is definitely the chicken breast and what you want to do here is you want to get that knife and you just want to slide it through, let the knife do the work. And chicken breast as itself usually tends to come really thick and what happens is when you cook it, the interior stays undercooked while the exterior gets really overcooked. So to prevent that, we're going to be cutting it in half. So just slice off any pieces of fat that you see on the chicken breast. A lot of the fat is going to be coming from the oil and the peanut butter from this recipe, so any excess isn't really needed for this. So just get the knife and we're just going to be cutting about half inch slices here. You just want to make it bite sized so that we can just fit it into the pad thai. Remember we're stir frying this so you don't want to go too thick on each piece. Around that much is perfect for each slice. This is our preferred way of cutting broccoli. So what Jack is going to do here is going to get that broccoli and we're going to put it on his head. Just let the knife do its work and separate it from its stem. So you can definitely use a knife during this part, but we like to use our hands because it, it lets us choose how big we want each slice of broccoli. We like our broccoli small, so this is our preferred method. And there you go guys, you get this really nice uniform broccoli that's going to cook evenly in the oven. So now it's time to make our sauce. This step is pretty crucial because this is where all our flavor is going to be coming from. So we're going to be starting this off with 2 tablespoons of peanut butter. Make sure to use the natural stuff for this one. And we're going to use 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar. It's going to add a lot of bitterness. And we got 3 tablespoons of fish sauce. This stuff is really pungent so just use 3 tablespoons. We got low sodium soy sauce, around 2 tablespoons for this. And we're just going to be adding around 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. This is a lot sweeter than normal sugar. And we got that good old fashioned sriracha guys, around 3 tablespoons. So just add everything in and make sure you're tasting this sauce because this is where all the flavor is going to be coming from and it's our only source of seasoning. So make sure that if you're tasting it and it's not salty enough, add some more soy sauce or if it's not creamy enough, add some more peanut butter. So we ended up just adding just a little bit of sriracha because we don't like it too spicy and then we added a little bit more peanut butter and this really added some extra flavor that we needed. Don't be like us and don't use a spoon, use a fork. This took forever because we didn't realize how inefficient this was. So now we got step two out of three guys, we're gonna be cooking up the food. Pad Thai can be a little tricky to cook, so we're gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks that we use that you guys can implement into your meal prep. We're gonna be starting it off with two tablespoons of high heat cooking oil like canola oil. So once we know that that oil is really hot, we're going to be adding around 8 ounces of chicken breast to this. Make sure that they're all really nicely separated. So just put the chicken breast into the pot and it should be really hot right now. You should hear like this really loud sizzling sound and you want to flip it right when you see that white area start to form around the chicken. Don't be lazy like us and use like a knife and a spoon. Just go get some tongs. We, we were like really tired when we were filming this so we ended up just doing whatever we could with whatever we could find right next to us. So once all that chicken is cooked, I guess now you want to get that spoon that we were talking about and push all the chicken onto one side. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be adding eggs to one side. And this is a great method. Uh, we kind of stole this from Jet Tila, his video on Pad Thai. But what you want to be doing is you want to put the eggs in that other side where we kind of made space. This saves us so much time because we don't have to cook eggs in another pot and just put it in into the wok that we stir fry everything into. So yeah, just crack in two eggs and make sure that they're really separated from the chicken for now before they're cooked. So what you want to do is you want to wait till the eggs are almost sunny side up because if you scramble them too early, it's going to mix in with that chicken and we want those two to be separated in our stir fry. So just scramble them up and try not to get the eggs too involved with the chicken. We really want these to be their own individual things for this recipe. So once you're done scrambling the eggs, just lift up the pan to kind of check if the chicken is on one side and the scrambled eggs are on the other. 
So this is the point where we're going to go back to our noodles. Once our 15 minutes of soaking is over, we're going to add maybe two or three handfuls into the pot and just kind of mix everything together with the spatula. So once the noodles are in, you really want to work at this and make sure that all the eggs are incorporated with the noodles and all that chicken breast is going to be incorporated as well. So here's another angle so you guys can see what we're aiming for. You want to make sure that the eggs are getting really incorporated into the noodles and that no clumps of anything remain on its own. The chicken is still undercooked at this stage so make sure you're really stirring in all the components of the pot. Don't press too hard though since we still want nice long noodles. I'm pretty proud of this shot because we just put a tripod on the table and we don't have like those overhead camera things so I'm glad this actually came out well. So once everything is nice and incorporated, it's time to add our sauce that we made and allow the noodles to catch all those flavors. Make sure not to break the noodles. We ended up stirring really aggressively, but in the other batches, we ended up being really gentle with it and all the noodles still stayed intact. We took around two minutes to incorporate all that sauce into the noodles and the kitchen smelled really amazing at this point. This is the part where the noodles are gonna finally look and smell like pad thai. And if it's your first time making the dish, it's pretty awesome to see that you made this all on your own. This is our first batch of noodles, so make sure to repeat this process two more times to ensure that you get up to 12 meals. I'm still pretty happy with this shot. I really didn't think it would work out, but I guess it did. If you guys are liking the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. So now you're basically finished with the pad thai, but what you want to do is get a whole lemon and squeeze all that nice juice into the pot. To do one last mix into the pot and let all that lemon juice work its way around the noodles. So after you've done this, make sure you repeat the cooking and prep process two more times or just keep going until you use around three batches of sauce and around 24 ounces of chicken breast in total. You'll end up with 12 meals, all costing you less than a dollar each. Now we're going to oil up our broccoli, just around two tablespoons so you can see it on the calories and season with salt and pepper. We use garlic powder because everyone puts garlic powder on everything. Never have warm veggies in your prep, guys. So just follow the cooking instructions and you guys are good to go. Now we finally got step three out of three. We're gonna be plating the food. We're gonna be adding some garnish to this and we're gonna be adding some extra flavors. We're also gonna be showing you the portion size that you guys wanna be aiming for when you guys prep the meals. Tip we like to share is to use a food scale on the very first container, so you can use the first as a guide to how much the other containers should carry. You want to put in around 180 grams of pad thai mixture and around 150 grams of broccoli. This will make around 12 equally sized meals and will ensure that you're eating the same amount of calories every time you heat one of these up. Another tip we like to share is to delegate the rolls. For example, Jack plated the pad thai and I plated the broccoli. If you're alone, then just grind it out, I guess. So for our garnish, we're going to chop up 3 green onions and however much cilantro you like. So once you chopped up the onions, just add it on top of the pad thai and add a thing of cilantro on top. If you're someone that thinks that cilantro tastes like soap, then feel free to just take it out and not buy it in the first place. We personally like cilantro, but there's always a huge debate on whoever likes or dislikes it. In fact, comment down below to see if you're a cilantro person or not a cilantro person. Add an extra lemon as a garnish, because a little extra on top of the pad thai is a good idea when you actually eat the food. And there you go guys, we've got an awesome, healthier pad thai that you guys can eat on the go. Alright guys, here we go. 12 pad thai meals with high protein and less fat than usual. Comes out to $1.89 a meal and $22.68 in total. So if you guys liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you guys made the meals for yourself, tag us on Instagram so that we can see it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace out, guys.